This COVID-19 awareness program is supported by Telecom PNG, always there. And Protex, clean hands, good health. Good afternoon. You're watching COVID-19 Awareness. The coronavirus crisis had many countries impose restrictive measures to contain the outbreak. This can have a negative impact on people's mental health and well-being. Fear and anxiety over this disease can be overwhelming for both adults and children. We have here now in studio Dr. Uma Ambi, who is a psychiatrist, who will be talking to us about the signs to look out for in your homes if someone is experiencing stress and anxiety during this lockdown. Doctor, thank you so much for making the time. Thank you. Thank you, Dini. Now, look, what are some things you can tell us, um, what signs we can look out for during this lockdown, especially to in um, um, homes where people are in lockdown and, you know, it's a stressful time. What signs do we look out for? Well, Dini, uh, to be very specific to the COVID-19 itself, you can see that uh, same law physical distance mm -hmm. because it's a virus. Mm -hmm. That means the this particular sickness is having a toll on the humanity. Oh, yes. So uh, by hearing it and by experiencing and also looking, oh, are we going to get and what's going to, if this happens in the world, yep. what is going to happen? So Emia and by giving you some kind of fear by come up. So I wanted to stay this last side, like also some physical distance and social isolations mm -hmm. and also closure to school, workplace, lockdown, and by you survey all the this like kind of, well, yeah so you're stopping the people from what they are doing every day yep. wow lockdown then the human mind is now like what to do next so osimna this is this time is very important than any abnormal reaction abnormal event there is a normal reaction so i want to like tell the people don't get frightened at this point but you will feel you have fear you will have confused and you feel you can be anger and then you can feel sad at this point of the crisis what, what are some reaction. ways to deal with um, these reactions to um, the stress during this lockdown okay so i had to say to everyone it is a normal reaction to an abnormal event that means your emotions are going to have shock fear anger sadness and all that physically you will be sleepy or doing other physical issues and thinking there are other memories and abnormal uh, like using alcohol um, and things. doctor i think there's a live update coming in right now from the command center uh, press conference live yes. that is so we'll cross over now to see yeah. this update but suppose he stop blow eh, and all walk about and all talk talk number and he stop blow eh, and but no god. So this la talk talk he go around on Facebook and all this la kind of something yeah, I'm German. So now me losing one them deputy controller na acting secretary lo give some blood talk talk lo COVID nineteen blow tete. Thank you. Thank you, Minister, and thank you, Papua New Guinea. Good afternoon, and uh, thank you for the controller for the opportunity to speak, and thank you, Minister. I'd like to say this afternoon, especially relating to one of the initiatives that we are now initiating, and that's called targeted sampling. Targeted sampling is a, a, an important initiative that that is part of what we want to do in terms of scale-up uh, doing the testings uh, throughout the country. And, and so we want to target the key settings, what we call the hot spot, if you like, settings of Port Mosby and Ley, uh, and uh, they are potential hot spots. So we want to see how the transmission of COVID-19 is. And so in these settings, what will happen is, is that there are uh, pre-triage areas already initiated within the, the facilities. Uh, health facilities with the primary function of being 
to analyze the case definitions and link with the contact tracing. Uh, and so this will be where our people will go uh, through the rapid response testing. Uh, and our teams will then be properly attired with the appropriate uh, personal protection equipment and all testing will be conducted in these controlled uh, settings. Our aim is to have the capacity to carry out 1,000 tests across Port Mosby and uh, LAY. We are also training our teams and providing the infrastructure to have the ability uh, to test along our border towns of Wiwek, uh, Kiunga, Vanimo, and Daru. We are committed to giving our border towns the capacity to conduct 1,000 tests. Uh, now, all of you, or many of you, would have seen what's happening in the Port Mosby area, National Capital District, and one of those settings is called the Rita Flynn Court. These facilities that have been uh, built and undergoing a huge transformation. Now, this is where we will uh, have what we call the isolation uh, ward. This is where if we do have infections of COVID-19, then this is where uh, a big part of our patients will be. Most of these people who will be in this uh, retafling court will be mild to moderate, and so we keep them there until the infection is, is cleared in Port, Port Mosby. Currently, there are no cases, and this should come online next week. So this is just to let you know about what's happening uh, relating to isolation facilities. But do know that isolation facilities are also being uh, uh, worked on throughout the country. As the minister alluded to earlier, COVID-19 is not a disease that is airborne. Uh, COVID-19 can be only be transmitted through droplets through the mouth and nose. That is why our message have all been around keeping safe physical distance, 1.5 meters from each other. We further emphasize the need to, for improved hygiene, proper cough etiquette, and resisting the urge to shake hands. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, Papua New Guinea. Thank you, True. Uh, Deputy Controller and uh, Acting Secretary of Blue Health, Today, Bobby Lucy wants to be the five key messages. What's in hand, blow you blow all the time. Suppose you got cough, you cough, you go inside, blow elbow, blow you. No can touch him, pass, blow you. Now, one blame, you keep him safe distance, slow, not a man. Also, you look at me, blow now, yeah. Me, send up, blow, yeah. Controller, send up, blow up. Deputy controller, send up, blow up. And me, blow, practice him. Personal space. Now, number five, the most important something. Simply, um, stop the house. Suppose you don't have to walk outside, stop the house to solo. Area blue pla. Now, by me looking most of this COVID-19, but then come up the house. Thank you, true. Suppose you got some question, you stop. Controller blue pla stop. Deputy controller stop. Then me stop. Thank you, true. Now God bless you. You got a line to Papua New Guinea. We come to me pla lo here. Lo port must be lo knock 19. Now government blue pla. The Marpe Stephen government me pla talk. Thank you, true. You play hard him talk talk, blah blah blah. Abide him more rules. Me play set him inside lo this state of emergency. Na buy me look him some country, blah blah blah. But come up good luck and thank you and God bless. Could ask um, Deputy Controller Stephen 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 arriving in the country for this mass test testing of uh, people around here in Port Mosby and Lane, the Secretary or the Health Minister can it's, uh, the, I can answer that one. The, uh, the test kits have come in today, and we will do our get our logistics people to separate them and make sure they go out to the to the provinces. And as the deputy secretary did say, that we will be focusing on the border towns to make sure that we uh, contain COVID-19. Can the minister also confirm that there are actually 500 PPEs in country and not 20,000 as displayed by the health secretary? Actually, 200 PPEs have been sent to all provinces that we know. Now, the 20,000 that we are referring to have been 
uh, 20,000 in the Fort Mosby General Hospital setting. So that's that's where the PPEs are. But as we speak, we are working towards ensuring that we get PPEs uh, to be procured and, and brought in uh, to, the, to the country. That's already gone to each province. We've, we've supplied them to each one of those provinces, uh, the 200. Um, they get rid of 16 persons of infection at Eden Valley. 15 underwent tests and one got away. The one that got away, the reports that he went to his own province in Timbu, and people up there are you know, panicking. Can you give them comfort if you found the person and has they been tested? Okay, maybe I'll let the comp controller say something on that. But let me uh, uh, assure the public that this is now day 17 of, of the contact tracing that we are doing. We've got another uh, five more days, day or uh, four more days. Day 21 is when we finish off this contact uh, uh, tracing mechanism. And, and so, as you know, there's 14 days of the incubation period of the virus. And so I would like to assure the, the public that by day 14, this whole thing would have been already resolved, but we just went, continue to monitor until the day 21 when we then uh, close off the, the, these cases. But I'll get the, the controller to say a few words on, on that particular issue. Thank you. And again, let me, you know, from the health experts in, in, uh, that are you know, advising us on what's the appropriate response to, to this, uh, to the national response to, to combating the spread of COVID-19, um, again, we've, in as far as uh, the 14-day window that was uh, that was uh, developed or, or understood to be the incubation period and the and the and where we're at the most highest risk of, of the spread of COVID-19, all the indications are that it, uh, that you know we've we've as as we speak that we've we've contained it to to a level not entirely. Uh, a watertight sort of situation, but at, at least to a level where we can confidently progress with our with our response um, response capabilities. Now, with uh, I understand that you know in, in Chimbu there may be, you know, and as you said that there's uh, rightfully said that there may be concerns about the you know the their the, the safety and and their health. Um, look, we we are aware of of this particular person that uh, that had um, of his own. Of his own uh, wish, had had gone up, up back up to his province, and uh, we have uh, both our military and, and police personnel tracking tracking that particular person, and ensuring that you know that we not only bring him to custody but also have um, have the opportunity to, to test him as well. But at this at this point, as, as uh, uh, Dr. Dokolola says, if we're not picking up any traces at this point, then um, whilst it's 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 far from uh, it's not you know. Uh, the best situation to be in because we have, we haven't tested that far, but if uh, if there was a potential threat or risk of it being spread, then we'd be seeing signs of it by now. But again, as I said, let me just reassure that the the, the next seven days is all about uh, targeting, uh, uh, sampling, or tracing, as as uh, Dr. Dr. Lala has has mentioned. So we have not stopped just because we haven't picked up one positive uh, case. Does not mean that we can we can say that we are 100% COVID free, COVID-19 free. Our efforts continue well beyond, and we've extended it for another 21 days. Over the next uh, couple of days, you'll you'll um, will be happy to report that uh, that uh, there'll be teams, rapid response teams that are currently being stood up now. That will be uh, sent across to our border towns because that is where, based on assessment and intelligence reports, um, is where our greatest risk and threat to, to the spread of COVID and importing of the COVID-19 uh, virus is, is through our borders. So over the next couple of days, you will, will be deploying teams, rapid response teams, to go and actually do random target, um, target uh, sampling from, um, from uh, Vanimo all the way down to, to Daru, but also including uh, uh, East Sipic as well, mm -hmm. so parts of, of East Sipic. As we know, it's been widely publicized that that we've had uh, and reported that we've uh, we've had uh, incursions across and a movement of PNG nationals across across the border. Um, uh, the the governors of both uh, East and West Sipic have, 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 have continuously feeding us back information as to 
the numbers that the, that they've been that they've been reported to them in terms of Papua New Guinea nationals going travelling back and forth. And look, whilst it's irresponsible, and 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 it's our view that that you know it's it's totally unfair to the rest of the country to have you know, and it's totally unacceptable for our Papua New Guinea nationals to put everyone else at risk uh, in the pursuit of uh, you know doing business or whatever you saw. We um, we're closely working with uh, with the, both the governors of, of East Sipic and, and West Sipic to ensure that you know those that have been identified are, are tested, and some contact tracing is is done on those. So you know, vigilance is our greatest ally at this point in time. We we cannot afford to be lax. We can, can't afford to be complacent. Um, we heard from the prime minister yesterday saying that you know any Papua New Guinea national deliberately. Um, crossing borders into Indonesia, and if they're picked up by the Indonesian authorities, then it is a matter between that particular Papua New Guinea national and the, and the Indonesian authorities, and they will, you know, then, um, and that is uh, something where, you know, we will gladly assist um, in ensuring that we provide, uh, provide the necessary assistance to the Indonesian authorities if, if we pick up, if we pick up um, Papua New Guinea nationals that have uh, deliberately disobeyed that, uh, the border closure. Uh, restrictions. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So as it stands, it it, it stands in that in that uh, NEC NEC endorsed period of the 14 days. Okay. So. Um, and then, of course, subject to so those emergency orders. Just for the clarification of everyone, though, those emergency orders uh, basically have a sunset clause, and that sunset clause is when the actual SOE um, uh, either terminates through a, through a decision by cabinet or parliament in this case, or um, if the situation changes, if there's some marks it and, and requires you know either those orders to be rescinded and new orders in, put in place. So, the yeah, short answer to your question it's, is for the duration of the uh, state of emergency. Can you also give an update of the Bomana? Um, we were told that Bomana, the, the place where the refugees were supposed to be kept, um, up at Bomana, it's been considered or it's supposed to be a quarantine place, but we haven't received any updates about that. Okay, so when when we were when we were looking at possible sites where we could uh, have uh, well, for basically for the purposes of of, of quarantine and isolation uh, purposes for COVID-19 suspected cases or confirmed cases, uh, the Bumana Bumana Immigration Centre was was uh, was identified earlier on as being one of those pro probable sites, along with other 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 sites around the country. Um, through the WHO, um, we've, you can see from Rita Flynn, we're, we're hoping to set up similar similar sites around the country using the, our sporting facilities. Uh, that again is is, is um, subject to again uh, you know, further uh, further consideration whether or not they'd be appropriate. Because you know, with with um, with these sites, we need to make sure that we have proper proper uh, ventilation, uh, power supply, water supply, all the things that would require. To support, you know, basically what a, a field hospital. Okay. Can I get an update on the Australian couple that crossed over? And I understand you need contact with them. Um, also, how about the four PHP that have been completed and their sample sent over to Gorka? So, uh, okay, so we'll answer the, the first. The, the two Australian nationals uh, that are being currently processed by our, our task force investigation team um, with the four um, crew. Um, I'm unaware of the of the test results of the, of them, but they're still they're still uh, from just being brief that they're, they're still being um, those tests will still be uh, completed, still yet to be finalised. How many tests do we have at um, PGIMR at the moment? Uh, I can I can uh, eight eighty five. Eighty five. Seven. 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 And who are they? Uh, we'll, we'll get the information out when it yeah. comes. Up. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we, we'd like. To, I mean, again, uh, figures. We, we can. We can. We can report on figures and the number of tests that we've done, the number of uh, the, the basically the results of those tests. But we can't. You know, just to ensure that you know, there's some 
some proper management protocols around the, as to where those tests come from. This, you know, that it, as you said, the, your colleague there asked a question about, you know, should Chimbu Province go, you know, uh, fall into chaos because of uh, one suspected, um, well, case. Yeah, so we just need to manage that information, uh, you know, responsibly. So uh, you know, so we can um, again have the proper you know, uh, responses uh, if we see that they, you know, it, those tests indicate that they should they would possibly outburst or uh, outbreak in in, um, in a particular area. You know, that's that's something that we just need to manage properly. Health Minister on Sunday you made a statement and said um, 400,000 kina was supposed to be released to provinces yeah, okay. on Monday. Okay. And the provincial plan is getting given and I'll take on uh, thank you for that question. Yes, uh, we have the 200,000 kina ready to go to the PHAs. Uh, that will come under strict guidelines to the COVID-19 uh, facilities and how to use it. Uh, sorry, what was the other question? Uh, the provincial plans have come in and we're reviewing them at the moment uh, to make sure that they align with the national uh, each, uh, Provincial, the national plan. So we should have that out uh, within the next couple of days. But thank you, Trulo, you blogger to come. One plus something, me like losing one you plan. The toll number is 1 800 200. It's not a joke, it's not a play number, it's a number where serious things happen and we want serious reporting. We're getting a lot of calls about sending flex back to people and they come up with really uh, unintelligent uh, words and asking uh, very unintelligent questions. Please utilize the number, it's for the safety of our country. And we need, we have people here working 24 hours manning this call center. We had, today we had a one hour where we, we had a problem, a glitch with the system, but we got back online. But. It's being overpopulated by questions that have not, nothing to do with COVID-19. And we urge everyone in the public to use the number wisely. Thank you and good night, God bless. Yeah, look, important information updates there from the command center. Dr. Ambi is still here with me in studio. Um, doctor, recapping on our um, discussion from earlier, we were talking about how, to, uh, how the lockdown is causing stress and anxiety. Um, just share with us some ways of uh, coping with um, stress and anxiety at this time. Yeah, thank you, Dini. It's, a, it's the most important thing all man may must have or same this like time. One is something you may hurry him and by creating that is normal reaction to an abnormal event. And you may must have it. So normally feel sad, na stress, na confused, na cross, na scared, now all this like am normal. So you're not going crazy, let me assure you. It's normal way. So strict to Look, look, low one and something. Now you take home message to talking to the people. Most importantly, to stay at home uh, and continue to do what they, you have to do, like the isolation and all these things you have to do. But the most important thing is the healthy lifestyle. You know, you may get plenty kumun about about lo stuff, lo house. So kai kai good, sleep good, yeah. exercise good. Exercise mm -hmm. mean doesn't mean you walk out of the room and go uh, party time. You walk in lo sampla way lo making you exercise so that you stay healthy and feel better. And also you will see, don't use, uh, like you can use email, phone, to be in contact, communication with, uh, it's all about keeping mind is positive yeah. and uh, uh, optimistic sort of way. Okay. Basically avoid emotional Emotional, uh, yes. you know, so that's where you go out of place, you yeah. see. And then don't use smoking and alcohol and chewing mm -hmm. as a way of smoking out because a way of sorting emotional issues. So if you feel overwhelmed, uh, you know, get the help, like health worker or get some mental health help to, because you're not going crazy, but there's a normal way mm -hmm. for a few weeks time and then you get over. So if the symptoms last beyond four weeks, 
weeks or six weeks, then you, it's, you need more help. The other one, get the facts right. Don't get into the rumors. Get the right information from the right place. Like World Health Organization is helping us to disseminate the information in a right way. So get the right people and get good information. And also uh, precautions. That means get Go, uh, like go back to the how the controller was talking about how to keep. Make sure you do those things and limit your worry and agitation, kiss him cross and about, and listening with all these things. Make a positive. That means uh, you know motivate yourself, inspire yourself. Speaking gardening. of which, the, you have a hotline. Um, yes. up as well yes. for um, people who need to have some form of counselling. Yes. Um, the number is 7907-4944. That is the number you can call to um, get some form of counselling as well. You know, I think this is the right time for especially friends and family. You know, like uh, keep the distance but create your emotions yes. in a more positive way. Draw on your skills that you might have lost in the past. Create cooking, create gardening, create things you can do and more importantly spiritual nourishment. I think yeah, that it's a time for us to build up our relationship in the isolation but then with the people trusting the Lord and the spiritual nourishment apart from physical mental and the spiritual nourishment is the key for our success and go towards positive and optimistic life. Yes, Very true doctor. Look, thank you so much for your Welcome. time and we look forward to having you again on this awareness program thank you. in the next few days. Thank you. We'll go for a break now. Join us after the break as we give an update on the state of emergency in the country. A global pandemic has been declared by the World Health Organization. COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. Our government, agencies of government, SOEs, business communities and the citizens of PNG are expected to mobilize and stand together to fight this common global enemy, COVID-19. We do this in two ways. Follow the directions and adhere to messages from the government and authorities. Come forward and assist the authorities. We at Telecom chose both. We joined the government to appeal to every citizen to practice good hygiene and to take extra care. And in case of emergencies, please contact our hotline on 1-800-200. Telecom PNG, always there. Help stop the spread of germs and protect your loved ones with Protex. Here are some simple hand washing tips. Use soap or liquid hand wash. Vigorously scrub hands in circular motion. Scrub in between fingers and nails. Do not forget the back of the palm and around the wrist. Rinse with clean running water. Dry hands with a clean paper towel or cloth. Protex. Clean hands, good health. Welcome back. We have received updates from the State of Emergency Controller Commissioner David Manning on the persons of interest who came in contact with the first imported COVID-19 case. Prime Minister Taupinis, all the tests me paronim lo online where all been stopped been contact one time first man and been kissim kissim lo em and all the all the tests will come back lo em negative. So. This is a case that has been come out from Singapore, come to Mosby. Um, it's a this is a flight, been come to Mosby, been 80 triple. Um, all man, where I'm looking for them all, need to be tested them all. Um, one thing is a 46 plus passenger. Um, that's one plus flight. Another plus flight, I'm from Mosby, where initial case been come down from Mosby to Lay. Where we've been looking for some uh, seven of the twelve passengers we've been identifying, including all crew, we've been testing all. Now we've been looking for some um, some all uh, results, some negative too. Um, all 
all the other health workers will be in go past or test two will fopla um, all two will come up negative so that's us where we've been towards them at this point in time this law been stopped close to law this is the first case here which all negative so i'm giving good play indication of some one of strategy government been putting in place through the soe the lockdown begin to and walk it's working yeah, words from Commissioner Manning yesterday. Commissioner Manning also stated that 160 test kits have been sent out to 16 provinces and there are 518 Port Moresby to begin testing. Mass testing of the 200 or mass testing of 200 a day is expected to take place to identify whether PNG has local COVID-19 transmissions. PNG IMR has tested 72 samples of that one tested one was tested uh, positive of the imported case, and 71 had returned negative. Now, Dini, interesting to note is the, the current undertaking by government. Um, people are not taking this lockdown seriously. Um, but again, you may must walk one time, na rere, good la time or time no good, you may not save, he back come behind. Um, that's all you must know can pore it. Uh, suppose you may be any more health talk talk where government or all health workman may give him mm -hmm. long, you may buy me or either. Mm -hmm. All like talk talk all same. You may must wash him hand one time soap. All, all talk talk where health minister now that's all he point him out. Um, pass him nose time. You kiss one time elbow all same. Um, yeah. Now stop long way long. All place where plenty man Mary boom long a brush him display sick COVID-19. Yeah. Um, now all display time a uh, government he walk him display lockdown. In all operate him you me all man Mary inside long Papua New Guinea. Uh, em long help him you me too. Yeah. Uh. You me use him display all. Uh, time lo, look out in you meet na help long you mean uh, one plus time too long look look uh, mm -hmm. long or something where you miss a walking before uh, whether display and by stop lo help him you me or yeah. no good this like kind time and be good play long mm -hmm. walk him display you must uh, think thing long help you me na long yeah. family na two all house line where you may come long emma um, message I think he go long all uh, uh, all, all public he all same um, he got plenty Walk na thing thing or ask him stop where you me got long government na health department too na online you go pass long walk him display walk uh, against him this like COVID-19. That's all you me too must put him hand na help him too uh, mm -hmm. long behind him all school talk yeah. where uh, only give him long abrush him sick COVID-19. Yeah. Now all manamere public must pass him blow him talk must stop. Um, if you got walk blow walk him na you move around um, in public places am right but lo walk lo legally call something or some go lo buy boy na display mm you know make him want to good for something m no important na mm passing the second token you make him na if you can bring him your display rot so you may master him talk lo government through to us i think that's it for now before we go mtv would like to thank the following partners protex and telecom whose support has made this program possible to inform educate, make aware, prepare and update Papua New Guineans nationwide on COVID-19. Remember to continue on practicing good habits, that's hygienic practices, as wash your hands with soap and water, cover your cough or sneeze with a banded elbow, and remember to practice social distancing. I leave you now with Reverend Pastor Joseph Walters with words of encouragement and prayer. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us again this afternoon as we receive encouragement and strength and comfort and assurance from Scripture and pray to our God that God who is always on his people's side will once again rise on our behalf. And remember, uh, our Prime Minister, the Honorable James Marape and church leaders met on Wednesday, the 25th of March, to declare uh, a 21-day prayer and fasting. And this is so important, like I told you uh, this morning, about a king in the Bible called Jehoshaphat. Because when a king or a ruler rises and takes the lead and says something, that becomes legal, or it is legally inviting a supernatural person power or force far greater than ourselves to intervene and intercept even in the situation that is negative, critical, and even destructive against the nation. So when the Honorable Prime Minister 
took the lead and said, let's pray, let's fast, then we are legally inviting the God of heaven, the God of Papua New Guinea, the God of Israel, and God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to come on our behalf and stand with us and fight with us and defend us from an enemy called coronavirus that it will not come and cause havoc and destruction to this nation. So we thank God for our leaders. We thank God for God-fearing people in leadership who are taking the lead to making sure that God is legally invited to participate with us and help us fight and ward off this evil enemy called coronavirus in Papua New Guinea. In Jesus' name, amen. Stop the spread of germs and protect your loved ones with Protex. Here are some simple hand washing tips. Use soap or liquid hand wash. Vigorously scrub hands in circular motion. Scrub in between fingers and nails. Do not forget the back of the palm and around the wrist. Rinse with clean running water. Dry hands with a clean paper towel or cloth. Protex. Clean hands, good health. A global pandemic has been declared by the World Health Organization. COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. Our government, agencies of government, SOEs, business communities and the citizens of PNG are expected to mobilize and stand together to fight this common global enemy, COVID-19. We do this in two ways. Follow the directions and adhere to messages from the government and authorities. Come forward and assist the authorities. We at Telecom chose both. We join the government to appeal to every citizen to practice good hygiene and to take extra care. And in case of emergencies, please contact our hotline on 1-800-200. Telecom PNG, always there. This COVID-19 awareness program is supported by Telecom PNG, always there. And Protex, clean hands, good health.